Yeah, my daughter, man, my daughter is everything. We have a huge, 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 huge connection. Like we, we are like that's my twin. You gotcha. know, uh, but like I said, man, like I, I was. Oh, so to bring it back, um, it's about Dean. So yeah, I'm calling. It's like it's like my third month. Probably like middle, probably like middle of March, end of March. Uh, a lady called me back. I left her voicemail. I'm tired by this time. I get up every day at nine o'clock and I call for three hours. Okay. Right. It's here on the phone. Not like not like the dollar where you just it just automatically go to another. I'm dialing. Yeah. Like that is so tiring. Then I'm getting hung up on. We cussed out. So I left a voicemail. Her name was Gloria. I left her a voicemail and she called me back like an hour. I'm in a nap. I'm taking a nap with my child now. Like we sleep. I get a call like, hey, this is Gloria Mike. I got your voicemail. I'm interested in selling my property. So I, I'm, I'm getting out all my clothes. I'm running, right? It's time to go. Uh, I drop my daughter off and I go to the appointment. I get the property under contract. She wanted, I think she wanted 45 and I, I offered her 35. Okay. And I, I got it under contract that day. And then I went to Dean's Mastermind in Nova, the same location. Dean said, hey, Mike, don't you got something? But like, yeah, I do. It's a refer. Got her name, his name was Sarisso. He said, man, I got, I, I buy her, I buy refer, I want it. Just that fast. I got it under contract the same day I closed. Well, the same day I got it under contract, I closed probably like 15 days later, but. Yep. Yeah, but kudos to Dean. Because like I said, if I wasn't in those rooms with these people, like, I don't know where I'd be at. So big shout out to Dean, man. Much love, man, for sure. Most definitely. So that, that's the big thing is, is get yourself around these people because put yourself around them get yourself networking with other people so mm -hmm. that you you can get in the door you can see what they're buying if you don't have anything right there you can at least ask the right questions what are you buying what areas mm -hmm. now you can target your market your mm -hmm. marketing towards those areas absolutely you know? so you know, there, there's the bootstrapping like you did with the seven dollars and seven but you know, you everybody I, I see out there on YouTube, get into do wholesaling for zero dollars for zero dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So there's the thing is it's gonna take you if you do it with zero dollars, you're going to you're it's gonna take you a lot more time. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. If you put a little bit of money into it, it's gonna take you a little bit less time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't go up where you put a bunch of money into it and you're just buying the whole business. No. Mm -hmm. You still have to put time into it, but the, the more you assets you have, the more knowledge you have are, are accumulated with with the amount of money that you put in, mm -hmm. you become. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, and then I think, I think the biggest thing, too, is um, you got to be a student. Yes. You have to be a student, man. Like, People don't understand how much manpower that I've put in that it takes to be even successful. Not even, I'm not even, I wouldn't even consider myself, I would consider myself successful because I would never quit. So I'm already there. Like my whole mindset, I'll, I'll, I'm never going to stop until I hit my goal. So I'm already successful. But it took me hitting the wall, crying, my friends telling me it was impossible. Like, for, like literally, like I used to like really go through it. Like, not having support, just like, oh, is it, is it working? Oh, you doing this? Are you doing this? And like I said, I just had to keep my faith. I had to educate myself. I'm, a, I'm an avid reader. I'm actually reading this now. I was just reading this before we get on the call. I'm reading this now. Dot com. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm always educating myself about anything that does, that happens that, that, that can help me evolve as a businessman, as a person, as a father, as a coach, as a mentor, as so, a mentee. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is one thing that I think that people can get out of is, and you should get out of it. If you get one thing out of this whole thing, mm -hmm. right here, okay, is everyone, as soon as you make one mistake or say, this has gone wrong, now you're going to get the people who don't know anything about it and come out and say, I told you so. I told you it didn't work. It's a scam. It's a scam. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I'm probably a little loud on that, but <laughs> it's, it, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you right now, everyone comes out and does that. Mm -hmm. They don't know shit. They don't okay? know shit at all. 
They don't know ex anything that they're doing about real estate. They just heard their friend, their this, their that. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. Yeah. Listen, I'm, we're not here saying this is a get rich quick scheme. We mm -hmm. you gotta put hard work into this. This is a Absolutely. business. Absolutely. You treat it like a business. You don't treat it like a hobby. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and, and that's where I want to get to the next part is wholesaling is not the end game. Mm -hmm. It is the beginning. Mm -hmm. Me and you talked about this before. This is the beginning. Absolutely. Okay. It's the, it's the lead into investing. Mm -hmm. It's the lead into, um, it, you know, buy and hold, fix and flips, you know, once you get into those buying holes, that's your passive income. Absolutely. Okay? I don't want to say it's all passive because you still got to do work in it. You still got to drive out people. But by all means, you can't think that just wholesaling is going to get get you rich. Like Absolutely it may rich you, but it's not going to sustain you. Absolutely not. And what I'm learning is what I think. So I think that. Wholesaling is going to help me dramatically long term because I can outsource, I can source my own deals. Correct. Yep. That skill alone helps me out with so much uh, because I don't have to depend on people to find me deals. I can go find deals because I know how to find deals. I took it took me three and a half, four years. I'm constantly learning to today. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not done learning. Right. Uh, but definitely being able to find my own leads. It's helped me dramatically, and I know that it helped me long term with um, buying properties. Um, if, it's a, if it's commercial, if it's single family, whatever it is, I can find it. You know, if, if it takes me to get back on the phone and cold calling people, I can do that. You know, yeah, I've kind of, I've right. kind of, you know, um, practice enough to be solid in majority of areas. Um, but my thing now is to surround myself with great people yep. and learn from people that's in the higher position than I am. So, yeah. 100%, 100% agree with you on that. And the, the only thing that, the main thing that I would say is, you know, um, continue learn, like you said, you said it yourself, continue learning, continue yep. educating mm -hmm. yourself and don't let those naysayers. This is what, what's gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna say no it didn't work it didn't work it didn't work mm -hmm. after a year passes you're gonna show them the checks not this is just not one it's not a fluke check after check after check mm -hmm. after check mm -hmm. then this is what they're gonna do oh can you hook me up can yeah you, me do that? yeah you, you become a real estate guy you become a real estate guy you become a you become a real estate guy in that in, in your spirit Everything in real estate, people come to me now. From about, I'm talking about from people that I coach with. Yep. Um, I, I coach their sons. I went to school with. I become the real estate guy in my spirit. You know, so my whole thing is to continue to grow my spirit, um, be able to add more value to people. Uh, and then I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, hold grudges. You know, I just, no, I no. just continue to keep my faith. It's not like, oh, whoa, oh, you thought it wasn't gonna work. You know what? You didn't believe, in, and that's just a testament to my faith. You know, yep. I think that. Um, my mother allowed me to, well, she showed me how to show up every day. Like yeah, through school, yeah. I never missed school. Like if I wasn't suspended or sick, I didn't miss school. Half a day, none of that. So that naturally sense. showing up is a thing that I was just taught from birth. So that's all I do is just show up. I show up and figure it out. Even if, you know, it might be a great day. It might be raining. I might not feel well. I just show up, man. And that's, that's, that's what it is. That's what's been working for me this these last five six months because i won't say um i'm perfect at all because it was a point in time where i did treat wholesaling like a hobby i'll be honest with you um and it's it, it don't it, it was like this yeah yeah you know now that it's, i'm taking it more as a business i'm here now yep you know i have i have leads coming in every day you know i have, I have I'm actually, I have three properties that I'm, I have under contract now that I'm looking to get rid of. That's in the city of Detroit. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited with the momentum. Honestly, I'm just, I'm excited and I'm, and I'm grateful.
Well, send them over to me if you want a JV. So, let's get it, man. Let's get it. Happy, happy to do it. Now, it that's one thing is, is just like you said, you showed up, okay? Mm -hmm. And you had the same thing that my mother taught me is when I was kid, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. she always I'd be like, why I'm sick, you know? I I I I, I, I got a bad test today, you know. But yeah. I'm sick, you know, no. she's like well, get your butt up, go get your butt up, and go to school. If they send you, you to school, and that, that's fine. But you gotta go to school. to school. They have. That was my mom. That was my mom rule. We didn't. I didn't miss school. Like, okay, from kindergarten to college, I probably missed five days. Yeah. No exaggeration. No exaggeration. Yeah. Probably a little bit more. I was sick a couple times. I got suspended once in high school for one day. It's petty. Yep. Um, but I didn't miss school even in college, like junior college, and once I went to Ferris, once I got to Ferris State University, in the cold, my friends yeah. would be playing yeah. up all night, playing the game with the girls. Now I'm asleep. I gotta go to school in the morning because I'm not trying to be here. Yeah. I, my job is to get here and then continue to move on, move forward. You know, a lot of a lot of my guys, you know, they kind of got, got got became became stagnant because mama pops wasn't there to tell them, hey, get up and go to school, do your homework. I was already trained. Yep. My mama trained me since I was a kindergarten, like to get up and go to school no matter what. You know what so, I mean? And, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's crazy though, you know. But so tell me a little bit about what strategies are you using now that you learned from mm -hmm. those first deals? So what strategies, um, what marketing strategies are you using, you using now? So I'm doing text messages, uh, cold calling, and digital market. So Facebook ads. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. uh, how are the Facebook ads going for you? Perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect. Um, and what's crazy is this: if you're a new wholesaler, if you're old wholesaler, post your success, man, because people That's come true. and find you out of out of all walks of life. So I had a deal I just closed probably the end of February and mm -hmm. January, and I and I and I told myself. 2023, I was gonna start posting more content, you know? Yep. Becoming, becoming a spirit for my audience. And that's what I started doing. I'm full of hashtags and this, that, and the third. And I wasn't even doing Facebook ads at this time. I was just text messages and cold calling. And a guy, his name, uh, one of my guys, he does my Facebook ads now, reached out to me just because he see my post. Hey, Mike, I see what you got going on. I'd love to be able to add value to what you got going on. If you got a minute to talk, please give me a call. Talk to him, I vetted him out. Talk to some of the people he worked with in the past. Mm -hmm. Working with them um, like two months now. Okay. And I, have, I have, I mean, I have no complaints at all. Oh my God, he's, he's awesome. Um, and I continue to just do more and continue to scale, continue to learn, continue to learn, give it, get my, my, my 2023 goal is, of course, my eight units, like we talked about, get my yep. eight units, yep. uh, get those. But also, a mentor, finding a mentor that, that is, that's gonna hold me to a standard um, but also I can learn from them. that's the biggest thing with me. I just I just want to learn man I just want to learn and grow and be able to be a voice uh, For my family my daughter uh, My lady my mother the kids that I coach, you know, I just want to be able to hey, hey coach who know how to do this or my dad uh, you know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to add value to people because I grew up I grew up rough You know, what I mean when nobody when I'm, ain't nobody even graduate college from where I'm from, you know So being able to graduate college and then also now also been able to you know, continue my journey in real estate, man, is amazing. You know, and I just want to continue to uh, inspire people to, to do better because you can do better. You just got to get some more information. Yep. yep. That, and, and, and that's the good thing is, is that you have to figure out, you know, what works for you as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so one one thing that I've seen that, that works for you is just getting out there talking about yourself, talking about what you're doing. And I think that works for everybody because guess what? It, people in your outer circle, you think that they don't care. They don't know, know mm -hmm. anything. You know, if you get to talking about what you do, hey, we buy houses that are junk. Mm -hmm. We buy houses that have long grass. We, you know, if, if you come across anything, let us know. Absolutely. And Absolutely. next thing you know, you got you got your second, third cousin saying. You know what? I had my neighbor over here. He just passed away. Absolutely. And their family over here is cleaning out, cleaning out the property. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, you it might be something you might be interested in. Hey, 
be like, hey, we give finders fees for people who yeah. get us deals. If we close on the deal, we'll give you a finders fee. Mm -hmm. People always love money. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And like yeah. I say, um, and I don't, I, you know, you know, we, us been on this platform. I don't want to seem like I'm just the good guy or I'm just too good or I'm just that. Right. Listen, I was the worst at wholesaling. I was the worst at getting on the phone. You guys, my lady, my listen. We used to laugh and crack up all the time because we used to record. Them. I used to be like, oh my god, I'm bad. You know what I mean? Oh, repetition, wow. repetition, and I just kept my my confidence just continued to grow, 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 grow. And like I say, I struggle, man.